Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to program this key. Uh, it's an aftermarket key that I bought for uh, this car. It's Toyota RAV4. The process should be the same for most of Toyota cars, especially for Runner and um, uh, Highlander, Corolla, Camry. So let's get into it. So this is uh, the key that I bought from eBay for I'm not sure $20 or less and then I took it to a hardware store and they um, cut it for free for me it can turn the in the ignition but it cannot start the car it's because the if you guys can see it's not gonna start the car so it has a chip inside that need to be a program to the computer so let's do it. This is the original key. Let me try it. So let's uh, see how it's done. This is my first ever time uh, doing this key. I have programmed another key which wasn't too hard. So let's do it. Open text stream. I think uh, you have to insert the original key first turn it to on position so it can recognize the car right now there is original key in the ignition and it's in a on position Uh, it's asking me if I want to connect to the internet, uh, which I'm not going to. Offline mode is better. So select uh, RAV4 option is without smart key W O. And then press next. And click on this uh, immobilizer section right here. Click on the arrow key. Then go to utilities. Open key registration. Turn next. So press next to proceed. remove the key from the key cylinder insert the removed key back into key cylinder turn the ignition on I'll remove the original key and then i'm gonna put it back in and turn it to on that's on position now and then uh, press next Remove the master key from cylinder within 20 seconds and press next. Insert the key and then press next. I inserted the second key in there, the copy one, and then I didn't even turn it and then I just press next. I did not turn the key, I just put it in the 
ignition. The key registration is complete. The, this key should now start the car. Press next to register another key. No, I'm not gonna register another key. I don't have another key, so just exit. Yes. Okay, so as you guys know, this was the genuine key, master key. The master key has G written on it, so whenever you guys are buying aftermarket key from eBay, make sure to buy the correct one which has G, some has L. So if you buy the one with the wrong chip, you won't be able to uh, sync the key with the computer. So this is the copy key in there. Let's see if it can start the car. this was the copy key this is aftermarket ebay key so the process is pretty simple straightforward um, now that my next video is going to be how to uh, make these buttons work so i can lock and unlock the door stay tuned for that one thank you very much for watching bye